Aries, this is your reading for uh, the next seven months. Because the energy has shifted so much, we have coronavirus and nobody really saw it coming. We did see, a lot of us did see a, a big changes coming in and also a lot more uh, um, yeah, positivity but up till now <laughs> I can't really say that the coronavirus is positive but it is a big change and I am Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I hope you enjoy this reading and I would suggest compare it to the yearly okay my darlings I'm trying to get everything on to the camera so let's have a look Okay, if you would like a one-on-one -on -one reading or a video reading or a live reading recorded, then please contact me. You can find the information uh, below this video in the description box or click on this little circle just there. It will take you to the website and there you can see the different readings. Okie dokie. And I do go live, so if you are new, please subscribe and hit that bell on all. Otherwise, you will not be notified when new videos are loaded up or when something new is going to happen or when I go live. I'm going to go straight into the reading. In June, you have the C Alpha male. That's the King of Cups. So in June, Aries, you might be meeting a man that is a Cancer, that's the king, um, but don't exclude Scorpio or Pisces. He's a loving, a caring, fun-loving, caring, nurturing man. He will provide for the family. He has his emotion. He's an emotional man, but he has his emotions under control. That why that is why he has the status of the king. Under him, you have the they have the you have the sunshine. You've got the sun, so you might be if you are hooked up with a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces, you might take it up to the next level, as the sun is one of the most positive cards in the tarot. It means moving, moving home, moving forward. Um, being in the spotlight, something is being illuminated, going on holiday to a warm country. Well, I think um, the uh, uh, lockdown will be easened up in June, beginning of June, or uh, right through June, and I think uh, I've been predicting that it will be ending or loosening up at the end of May. Here in Holland, we are allowed to go to the hairdressers again. And there are companies that are also um, making holidays or, or offering holidays, um, a guaranteed coronavirus um, free. I don't know how they can do that, but people are coming up with new ideas. So don't be pessimistic. Be optimistic because big changes are coming up. So if you um, have been out of work, you might be getting a job. If you've got a job and you've been working from home, you might be in the spotlight and uh, the boss has seen how well you work from home. So there might be a promotion that you can work from home and also partly from the office. Um, also, you, something is being illuminated, so perhaps illumination, get, if you are meeting up with a water sign, you need more information if you would like to uh, extend it into a fully-fledged relationship. Okay. In July, you have the full, a new beginning, a leap of faith into the new. Okay, you've got the full, so that means a new beginning and definitely an emotional one because you've got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Cups means a new love or passion or nurturing. Perhaps you are going to take up um, this King uh, of uh, Water of Cups and carrying on into the next level because you've got more information. In August, it is definitely a transformational period. Boom! You've got death. You're leaving the old behind and going into the new. You're no longer the caterpillar. 
you are the butterfly now it's going on we it starts well and beautiful and it you are going to celebrate in August so you might be getting married or you might be getting engaged or you might have a promotion at work and you're celebrating this with family and friends <coughs> excuse me in September you've got the earth alpha female upside down that is the Queen of Cups and she stands for fertility birth of a child birth of a project growth blossoming and harvesting well since she's upside down and she also represents the Queen of Pentacles is Virgo so um, if there is a Virgo in your vicinity or around you you will not be meeting up uh, with them okay nothing is growing in September that is what it means there won't be a new start you won't it won't be a good time to get pregnant if you or your partner wishes to extend the family and get pregnant I think the best the best month would be um, in July as you've got the fall so take that leap of faith and uh, let it happen you know you don't get a baby um, you can't uh, get pregnant on order you get a, you get given a pregnancy or a child and people sometimes forget and you've got the Queen of Cups you've got the Queen of Cups lying under the Queen of Pentacles the Queen of Cups is a lot like the Queen of Pentacles it is nurturing it is loving it is taking care so you might be meeting a person like that or you might be getting pregnant in July because the Queen of Cups sorry the Queen of Cups you might be getting pregnant in in Scorpio in October because the Queen of Cups is October so that could be an indication it won't happen in September but it will because that's Virgo but it could happen in October so don't worry don't keep on um, hanging on to the idea I must get pregnant I must get pregnant I want to get pregnant because it won't happen relax relax go into this new face okay this big new face emotional face and don't expect anything just let it happen nurture yourself love yourself prepare your body if you are wishing to get pregnant it won't resonate with all of you I know but if you if it's a job that you wish or a new hobby or a new love then get prepared nurture yourself love yourself and then you'll be the beacon you will shine and you'll be noticed that might be the thing that is illuminated love yourself okay then you've got the ten of fire and that is in June July August September in October Ooh, the t uh, times have been tough yes but you are coming to an end okay you're coming to an end and you're ready for this new beginning it's only a few steps away before you reach your goal this could have to be uh, with finance as you have the knight no the page of pentacles so you might be getting news about um uh, something that's durable and for long term that could be a job that could be a house renting a house buying a house perhaps and that could be it that your mortgage is coming through um, well it could be a mortgage and it could be a pregnancy it's definitely something new because what goes up must come down what goes round uh, uh, goes round this is also a next level you might go up a next level in the relationship or if you haven't been promoted yet you might get promoted in November you might go on holiday in November um, if you haven't moved uh, yet because you've got the Sun that means moving or moving in with uh, a King of Cups um, then you could be moving in November let's have a look yes 
I don't see the chariot anywhere or anything other uh, or the world that's an other moving card or the six of wands so it could happen in November so get prepared like I said get prepared for that big event happening there are a few uh, events that's happening so get your information right prepare that is what is coming across here to me okay get that job so that you will be secure and now you have the king of chalices so we've got a pair here we've got the queen and the king and the king here again so that that king of cups is important to you Aries okay this is a lovely nurturing man perhaps you know a king of cups and you might be doing business because it's lying next to the uh, page of Pentacles he might be informing you about a, a business proposition the, the the business proposition could be that you might um, uh, let's have a look you might uh, get a job proposition or you might get a uh, uh, news about an investment uh, return uh, it could be that he could be a bookkeeper or a broker and he he's going to tell you okay uh, sorry about the coronavirus and all that uh, we thought we would um, be worse off but in fact uh, what you have invested in has a good return perhaps it is in healthcare something to do with um, machines for the healthcare that you've invested in because the king um, of cups and the queen of cups and the ace of cups perhaps you in, uh, invested in july and you see the return in november and he's got good news for you it could even be an inheritance because uh, in december we have the earth guardian and the earth guardian is the knight of pentacles and he also stands for news and pentacles are slow but uh, uh, steady so um, the investment might be slow taking or coming and uh, it could be a big surprise okay that might be the illumination or you could meet a Virgo uh, Capricorn or a Taurus okay now the ten of Pentacles means big happy families inheritance reunion with family and friends perhaps uh, expansion of a family perhaps buying that house because you've got that money now so at Christmas uh, or in the month of Christmas you might find that house and be able to buy it or you might be a uh, you might be finding out you're pregnant like I said the be the best time is um, uh, let's have a look October November and you might be finding out you're pregnant if that you might be extending the family <sighs> awesome nice energy uh, for the overall energy you have the seven of Pentacles upside down so that means that what you have sown you cannot reap at this moment there might be delays okay but at the end of the year it looks that it this card is turning round so you will be getting news but it might be paid out in January end of uh, December okay now uh, we on the other uh, deck we have the eight of swords you might feel trapped you are too much in your head and I get to hear if and buts if and buts don't if and buts go for what you want because you've got the queen of pent uh, the queen of rods here and she always goes for what she wants so get out of your head and ask advice ask advice from the king of cups or perhaps the queen of cups but the king of cups is eminent here perhaps you might know somebody that is an advisor or a broker that you can ask advice to take away that doubt and that milling around in your head 
So usually it's a lady standing with a blindfold and feels tied up. Don't feel tied up. Everybody feels that, even me. And especially today when I'm recording this because I'm getting fed up with all being tied up as well and being limited. I want to get out there and do my thing and blah blah blah. Everybody does. Thank goodness there is a bit of positive news because the hairdressers are open again this week. Be inspired. Yes, be inspired. Come out of your mind. Don't doubt anything. Go and ask and keep on pushing um, until you get the answers, okay? Until there is nothing anymore to be illuminated. You're in the spotlight, so people are recognizing you. <coughs> Excuse me. When you're inspired, you are not judging others or yourself. You aren't bothered by behaviors or attitude. Tudes, that is uninspired. Moments are frustrating. When you're inspired, your heart sings in appreciation for every breath, and you're tolerant, joyful, and loving. So be the beacon. You are a fire sign, my beautiful Aries. Look at this. It looks like this is just the inside of the um, flower, but it looks like to me like the fire is splurting out. You're ready, so get inspired. You're good at that. Be the Queen of Cups. Be the Queen of Cups. Okay. She's my strongest lady, um, the Queen of Cups. She always inspires me to stay strong. You've got 24 here, and that means 6. So you are balanced. Follow your heart. This could be a soulmate or a new love, like I said. Um, that could be the King of Cups. Or it could be a Scorpio, or it could be um, an Earth sign, a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. Okay, my darlings. So, um, that could be your new love, or it could be uh, the Queen Queen of Cups is Scorpio. Yeah, so Scorpio is quite prominent in here, because the death also represents Scorpio. So follow your heart. If it is not love that you seek, follow your heart, your passion for the right job, the right house, to, to be there with your love, with your soulmate. <coughs> now, this is a different card, and this card is called uh, Show and Tell. Show and Tell. There are loads of different cards, and a lot of... Uh, managers, CEOs, uh, psychologists, life coaches use them to break the conversation to see what y how you interpret a photo. So this is quite an an uh, nuchter, nuchter, sober card compared to um, to a lot of people of the tarot and the Lenman. and they've taken a page out of our book they are using cards now to break the ice and to see what you think so i'm going to give you i've done this with uh, capricorn aquarius and pisces i'm going to ask you what do you think when you see this fire alarm do you feel like breaking out and breaking the the, the glass out of service do you feel that you are out of service or do you want to get into service press the button do you want to press the button to get that start are you in your power because eight means money and power does that mean the same to you or do you want to stop and stay where you are or are you the fire alarm <laughs> what does this picture say to you well I'm not going to say what I think but you can use this card um, to meditate on to think about how to motivate, uh, I hope I try to motivate you into thinking how can you take the next action to be inspired. H does this inspire you to break that glass and hit that alarm and let's uh, give it a big whap whopping uh, wake up call. I'm just giving you something to think about and I hope I do. 
and for a love card separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Well, that's already most probably been on the horizon. This is not a divorce or a separation permanently. This is just that they could be in the army or the navy and they are away from home. And that's the separation. Or they might be on the road salesmen. They could be, or engineers, and they could be um, doing their work to keep the communication going because they're working with the telephone lines or internet or whatever but they will be back but we all have been separated from our loved ones and friends so that is still a, could still be going around in the seventh month seven months from in the these coming seven months but i think it's going to lighten up definitely and people are becoming more ingenious and in uh, creative in uh, going on holiday and visiting their family and friends and seeing them so I hope you enjoy this reading compare it to the yearly and see what has changed and what energy is around in the coming seven months you can do that for month to month or you can do it all at once have a look, make notes and compare. Perhaps you might get some useful information out of it. And if it doesn't resonate with you, then have a look at your moon sign and your rising sign. So, I hope you will give me the thumbs up and share this video with family and friends. And take care and be blessed and I hope to see you in life. And uh, if not, in the next video. Ciao, ciao. Love, Shah.